This time I would like to show you how you can combine open educational resources with different licenses and what you need to pay attention to. I'm creating a presentation about it. I found a suitable sketch and a nice illustration. And also a very good short excerpt from the text. And everything under open licenses. We get to work and add the text, add the sketch, and at the beginning we embed the illustration. Then we ask ourselves what license our new teaching material has because the original objects had different CC licenses. The illustration was under CC0, the sketch was under CCBY, and the text from Wikipedia is under CCBYSA. Hmm. The solution is not difficult at all. The license with the most specifications here is CCBYSA. She is the strictest. In any case, we have to follow it. This means that we have to use this license, i.e. CCBYSA, for our presentation and of course also provide all other information. To make it easier to remember all of this, the so-called cupcake rule was developed. Here in the picture, you can see a cupcake made from a variety of components. The green paper wrapper is licensed CC0. The orange cream is licensed CCBYSA 4.0 International. And the red balls are licensed CCBY 4.0 International. Licensed. This means that the entire cupcake must be licensed under CCBYSA 4.0 because that is the license that provides the most requirements. And the cupcake rule? Yes, it says that you can't allow others to do more than you've been allowed to do yourself. That's simple. If you want to use other CC licenses than the ones I have presented as open, things quickly become even more complicated. Many combinations are then no longer possible. So if you want your own resources to be easily used by others, you should choose the CC0 or CCBY license. Experience shows that teaching materials can be reused particularly well if these two licenses are used, and we want our materials to be used and accessible.